Um, I'm premiering my uh, first feature film, Pembroke Circle, at the Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival. And how excited are you to be here? Oh, I'm very excited, extremely. I'm originally from Fort Lauderdale, so it's great to bring my first feature back uh, to my hometown and everything, because I'm based out of Orlando right now. So. so tell me about today, like what happened here today? Uh, well, today I guess was the chairman's brunch. Uh, it was a wonderful cruise, even though the weather wasn't that great. You know, the company was awesome, food was great, and it was you know great to be in a more intimate environment where you can kind of talk to people and network and everything, and in the beautiful Fort Lauderdale Intercoastal. So. Absolutely. Um, tell me a little bit about your film. Uh, well, it's a uh, UCF MFA film project, and it engages the issue of human trafficking, which is a very big issue in the state of Florida and um, across the world really, but Florida is a real big uh, like buzz state for that. And it follows like a young 16 year old girl that like lives in like a suburban neighborhood and you know, becomes suspicious that the maid working inside her house might be a victim and you know, becomes a morality crisis because she doesn't know what to do you know, if her suspicions are true. Awesome. So. What do you hope that uh, people take home? With your film. Well, I think that uh, one of the things I hope is that like they see that this is an issue that's not as simple as a lot of the other films have portrayed. You know, there's a lot of you know psychological baggage that you know comes from big people that have suffered from this issue, and that you know they need continuous help after they've you know been rescued, and that you know really no one wins when a case of human trafficking you know takes place. You know, and I think you'll find that in the in the film. You know, everybody who's, you know, every character in the film suffers in some way from this act. And, you know, it's, I won't give away too much more from the film, but, you know, I think it, the, the ending is very powerful and shows, you know, the, the, pri the cost, the true cost of the, the issue. You know, what, it's, what it causes, you know, the uh, people that are, you know, either surrounded by the, the crime. How important is it that people support independent film? Extremely important, you know, I think that, you know, the filmmakers out there, you know, a lot of them have more passion projects, they have, you know, uh, visions that you're not seeing uh, from Hollywood, and I think that, you know, to get a well-rounded uh, cinema experience, you really need to support, you know, independent filmmakers. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Any advice for filmmakers? Um, well, <laughs> and love the process, you know, you have to love it. If you can do anything else, do that, because filmmaking is really hard, but you know, for me, there is no other choice, and th that really is how it should be if you want to pursue this. And, you know, be very passionate about your projects. It's like a baby. It's like a living thing that you have to nurture and raise. So only take on the projects that you really, really are passionate about. <laughs>